Uh, no guys, put the Christmas tree on the left and the yak on the right. I think it looks better with antlered things either side of the tree because it's that time of year. So, oh hey guys, <laughs> Richard and Richard here again. Welcome to my roundup of a year in gadgets, 2012 gadget roundup. Now not everything in this list is going to be uh, things that are available at the moment, just the highlights, the things that, that push gadgeting forward, technology forward for mankind, for all of us, for the good of everybody on this planet and our, our time-wasting habits. So, uh, and also you might need to know that they're not in any particular order, although I might pick out a favourite along the way. So, uh, hmm, what's first? Well, the first thing I want to mention is the success of the Oya Kickstarter. Uh, Oya, O-U-Y-A, Oya. Mm. It's a console. It's a console that's been funded through crowdsourcing. Isn't that nice? It's a console, not by the main three console makers, not by Sony, not by Microsoft, and not by Nintendo. This is the first time a new console has dared to hit the market in a very long time. Okay, maybe about 10 years. But it's exciting, it's good news. So yeah, the Oya, it's a uh, Android uh, system machine, which is promising to come out next year. There's a whole host of games being developed for it. A lot of them are on Kickstarter themselves. So this not only is a cheap console, an alternative to the normal three, but also a great platform for new indie developers. What's not to love about it? And, 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 okay, the remnants of OnLive, the uh, streaming service, which sort of crashed a little bit while ago and then was bought by Google subsequently. So yeah, win, 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 win. I guess I have to mention the iPad Mini. Do I, do I, have, do I have to mention the iPad Mini? I do. The iPad Mini. Basically the iPad 3, but a lot smaller. Uh, I mean, it came out in a bit of a rush, no one really expected it to be as powerful as it was. So when the iPad 4 came along, people were like, why is there an iPad 4? What's going on? It only, just yesterday the iPad 3 came out, even, even fast for Apple, but it turns out the iPad 3 is very much like the iPad Mini. So what are you gonna do? So yeah, it's a small iPad. If you like iPad and you and you want to have a smaller one, then I guess you're really pleased about the iPad Mini. Eight times a charm for Microsoft, that is, and their Windows platform. Yeah, Microsoft Windows 8 came out earlier this year, and uh, I've got written down here. It came out in October, at least here in the Kingdom. It did. And what's it brought in? Well, it's, it's brought in this kind of blocky Windows thing. It's a bit like on the, on the phones that they have and on Xbox Live, and yeah. I mean, I just sort of got interested in Windows 7, really, and uh, I think the jury's still out on Windows 8, but it's it's nice to see something it's nice to see something change as much as Windows 8 changed the whole Windows thing, so that, I, I like that. Of course, no roundup of tech is complete without a console launch that you can actually have to get your hands on as opposed to the OEM. Uh, this year, there was two. First of all, of course, was the PlayStation Vista, uh, named after the very successful Windows platform. Sorry, what? Vita? Very similar, isn't it? Here's Vita there, yes. Um, it came out a few months back and uh, it's much fanfare. I have to say I was there at the launch. It was uh, an interesting event. Uh, Rob shoulders with the rich and famous. <laughs> I didn't do any of that at all. I did go, but I didn't like it. But it's pretty much what we all thought it was going to be. A very powerful new PlayStation Portable with uh, uh, the UMD removed. That's the, uh, the disc format and uh, uh, much more emphasis on downloadable games and uh, touchscreen on both sides and uh, you know augmented reality stuff. Nice little console, actually ticked all the right boxes but it hasn't been selling um, and that's probably because people are too busy playing uh, games on their iPhone and frankly who can blame them, it's much cheaper. Just for the record I quite like the PS Vita, it's just um, probably about five years too late. So. And the second console release, of course, was the Wii U. Now, uh, I've just recently talked about those. If you go back to some videos, you can find out what I thought about that. So rather than me go over how much I enjoy the, the new controller and the, um, the multiplayer games and uh, how Zombie U is quite an innovative take on the whole zombie thing, but damn it, I'm doing it again. And out in the world of uh, professional photography, there was the Canon EOS 5D Mark III. Four? Three, it was three, yeah, you sure? Okay, the Mark III offering some incredible low-light photography and uh, filming, as the 5D has always been known for now, as a great filming device. Uh, the 5D actually knocks your bloody socks off, I'm not kidding. Okay, it's extraordinarily expensive, but you are talking about a very high-end camera if you're not willing to fork out for the 1D. The 5D is a beautiful, beautiful piece of kit, and I think, yeah, I think it's my gadget of the year. Then there's the uh, BlackBerry 10. <laughs> oh my god, I got I can't put a Blackberry on this list. <laughs> Blackberry. Oh. Oh. Blackberry. 
And last but not least, I want to mention that one of the biggest innovations in telecommunications uh, this year, definitely in the recent years, it is 4G, the launch of 4G. 4G's first service, known as EE, -E 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 everything everywhere, that's an amalgamation of Orange and T-Mobile, uh, proved to be somewhat of a launch. I don't know how this has been so far, uh, because <laughs> guess what? It's really expensive. And what with our ever decreasing bandwidth, I don't know how we're going to get around that. All of us demanding high definition content beam straight to our phones. How on earth, how on earth are we all going to cope when the bandwidth just gives up and there's nothing left to transmit? There's no room for that. We need to figure out a way around that. We totally need to figure out a way around that. It's a major, major problem. But yay, 4G launch and everyone's very happy. Hopefully we'll all have really, really fast connections in the new year and it'll be totally great. Thank you very much for watching. I have been and always shall be Electric Richard. If you disagree with anything I've put on this list, uh, please let me know. Drop me some comments, give me a tweet, and please, please, please subscribe. It's all I want for Christmas. Your subscription.